Willem. Welcome to Meet Me at the Corner. I'm in Queens at the corner of 47th and 111th Street outside the New York Hall of Science. Science is a way of looking at things, a way of questioning and figuring out answers by trying them out, by thinking about them, and by reading about other people's experiences and experiments. The New York Hall of Science is a great place to experiment with ideas. This museum was created in 1964 for the World's Fair. Since then, there's been a lot of changes. Each year, over 500,000 kids visit this hands-on museum to learn about molecules, mathematics, space, motion, and physics. We're here today to talk to Adiel Fernandez about various experiments in physics that kids can do here at the Hall of Science. Why is physics important to people? Well, physics is the science of the natural world that we're all familiar with in our day-to-day -day lives. Everything from throwing a ball to flying a kite, or even something as extreme as sending a spacecraft to Pluto is governed by the laws of physics. It's all around us whether we're aware of it or not. Does physics help with space, rockets, NASA, and stuff like that? Well, the only reason scientists and engineers have been able to send things to outer space is because they understood the laws of physics and were able to use them to their advantage. If you want to explore the universe, you have to play by the universe's rules, and those rules are the laws of physics. Does the hardness of a floor surface affect the uh, ability of a basketball to bounce? Sure, and it all has to do with energy. Imagine bouncing a ball on a soft, fluffy pillow. The ball is going to sink right in because the pillow is absorbing its energy. If you have a hard surface, that energy is going to be transmitted into the, the bounce of the ball. So if I bounce the ball on a hard wooden surface, it bounces right back up. If I bounce on a foam surface, not so much. A lever is a simple machine that allows us to perform a task much easier than we could without it. Take for example over here, we have a 700 pound weight at the end of a long rotating arm that has a pivot, pivot in it. Normally we would need 700 pounds of force to lift it up, but by using this long lever, I need much less effort. Why when a figure skater pulls his arms closer, does he spin faster? Well, this takes advantage of a concept known as conservation of angular momentum. Angular momentum is basically just a momentum that is spinning. When you have your arms out by your sides, it means you have a certain amount of angular momentum. When you bring your arms close to the body, you have less. In order to make up for that, you have to, you have to spin faster to make up for it and have the same amount of momentum you did in the beginning. Well, that's it for my corner of the world. For more information on the Hall of Science and fun websites on physics, visit our website. See you next time.